Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about our experience with COVID, which was one of the scariest things in my life because one of the main things I was hoping was that my kids wouldn't get it and I have two toddlers. Thank God my eldest is on vacation and it was just really hard taking care of two babies at the same time by myself. I was trying to bring down one's fever while the other one was spiking another and it was just so crazy. This is nothing I wish on anyone and I pray that we never have to experience this again. On like my first day, like I felt itchiness in my throat. It's like, okay, you know, that's not good. I was thinking maybe it's just some kind of like allergies or whatever. Cause like sometimes I'll have that where like I feel my throat is itchy. Later that day, it'll be gone. Like I'll take cough syrup or whatever. I had shortness of breath. It wasn't too bad, but it was just there. I took the test and I was like, oh my God, okay. It's gonna come out negative, whatever. Sure enough, it turned out positive and I was like, oh my god, I freaking have COVID, you know, I have COVID. And so that week I was going to be alone with the kids and um, it was just bad timing. Like my mom just left with my daughter and, you know, I was alone with the kids in the house. And then that following night, I had chills. My body was aching all over. Thank God I recorded these clips. Hey guys, it's my third day of having COVID and it's extremely hard when you have little ones and you don't have any family or friend, close friends here in the city you live in to help take care of them. So that's the part that sucks about it. Um, my third day, <coughs> a lot of coughing and um, I'm trying to sweat it out in my cold chair they always say in order to get rid of like a flu cold whatever sickness is to just sweat it out so I have the window open um, you know I have the wind coming through but it's you know it's pretty hot and hopefully that's how I get you know this whole sickness to hurry up and move out of my system but yeah, my third day, I noticed that I've lost my uh, smell and taste, which is a bummer because now I'm freaking out. I'm grateful so far, my third day, I haven't gotten any fevers. Um, the first night I did notice that I, um, I had chills. It was pretty bad, um, especially like overnight. <laughs> it was really bad i'm pulling through it i'm you know forcing myself to get up and do something it's changed a lot um especially having kids like i'm trying so hard not to you know give it to them i'm keeping my distance um sanitizing everything spraying everything but yeah it's it's really an experience and i pray that you know myself or my family does not have to go through this um it's just like you know I have some friends that are going through it with me and we're just kind of keeping tabs on each other which I'm so grateful for because they're sharing their tips I'm sharing my tips and yeah um, we're gonna get through this and I'm praying that it hurries up uh, you know I really want to start hugging my babies and doing stuff with them I'm grateful tomorrow's gonna be my fourth day and I just really want to power through this Hey everyone, so it's my fourth day of COVID and it's so bad because now Daylin has it and she's having a really high fever right now. Her fever is at, um, it's like ranging from 100 to 101 and I'm trying to break it by giving her like um, I baby ibuprofen. It's really crazy because this COVID fever for, you know, for babies is just, it's it's like one of the worst fevers I've ever had to deal with. Normally, she when she gets sick with like a cold or whatever, she does have a fever, but it doesn't reach this high and stay this long. And so that's why I was mentioning to my family, COVID fevers are just really bad. Um, I'm praying, like when it comes to fevers, I cannot sleep with my kids. Like. I'm gonna probably end up staying up all night just to like monitor her and make sure she's okay. So well, we're gonna do that. Danny, um, and Danny, when she tested, it was like we're gonna have to test her again tomorrow because her test came out um, two lines, but the second line was like 
I'm pretty sure it's positive, but it was just barely there. And so we're gonna give her another test tomorrow and see how it turns out. But for now, Dayland is just really um, weak and tired and this fever is just really getting to her. And so that's my goal is to just monitor it and um, kick it, you know, beat this freaking fever and just get it out of her system. Uh, she doesn't she didn't want to eat dinner so we had to give her like Pedialyte and some popsicles and I tried to give her some oranges but um, she didn't want to take that so I'm thinking she probably has a sore throat um, yeah I'm just gonna monitor her and should anything you know get worse I'm probably gonna take her in but we'll see how this goes it seems like the ibuprofen when i gave it the baby ibuprofen helped her um it's slowly going down her fevers are slowly going down but it's taking a really long time and so i'm praying this all just like hurries quick you know just goes away real fast and uh, i hope i never have to go through this again because it's freaking crazy like to deal with myself is one thing, but to have my babies be, you know, down by this fire, it's another level. Like, I don't want to experience this again. But we'll check in again tomorrow. Tomorrow will be my day five. Um, I consider this Dayland's day one because she tested positive today. So we'll see how everything goes. And um, it's just so heartbreaking for you know mothers to see their children and their babies so down and out by you know any kind of sickness in general fevers are just the worst but yeah we'll check in tomorrow and do an update of how everybody is doing um as for me the only thing i've noticed are my back pains my lower back is just really aching I had pressure in my head this morning, but my flu medicine, I'm taking flu medicine, it's its really helping. And so every time I take it, it, it goes away. So I'm slowly getting back to normal. I, I still have no taste and smell, but I mean, that's fine. You know, at least I'm able to be up and taking care of my baby. Uh, she's just really sick right now. and my poor girl i hope this just gets out of her system like i said quick yeah um, we'll check in again tomorrow hey guys so it's my day five of covid and now both my babies have it danny started spiking a fever today around maybe 12 or one between those two times and so yeah, she got a high fever, and now I'm working on bringing both of their fevers down. Um, I've been giving them the children's Tylenol and the ibuprofen, and I feel like, I mean, they both work, but I feel like the ibuprofen is much stronger and more effective. Mommy! Yeah, and so that's what I've been doing. Um, we had some chicken soup today. We had oranges, orange juice, just kind of giving them all of the stuff they need. And now dentist. To feel better, right? And um, I gave them to, and mommy gave them to COVID. Yeah, we all got COVID now. How do you feel having COVID? No. Tell everyone how, what you feel. I feel better now. I know, but how were you feeling before when you were sick? I was feeling like I have a runny nose, and I felt like I have a runny nose, and I felt like I haven't had a runny nose. Yeah. And what else? Your head was hurting? No. I was scratching my head because <coughs> I didn't think what, what movie we were going to watch. Tell them what I'm watching. We're watching Rapunzel. And the guy and the bad guys are taking him in the and the bad guys are taking them in the jail. And we're watching Rapunzel 
and the bad guys are taking Eugene in the, in the cage. I can take him to you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. So yeah, overall, like this whole COVID experience was just horrible for me and my girls. Like I really was not having a good time. I had to heal quick. You know, I felt like through this COVID, like I had to heal quick in order to take care of my babies. And it was just to test my motherhood, you know, it's my strength. And it was just, I'm gonna tell you that, that really got me. Like, so the tips that I do wanna share with you parents, if your kids do come across COVID and you know, yourself, um, what we did was we ate a lot of those uh, cuties, the tangerines, you know, get a lot of those. Um, popsicles really helped us through the fevers. We had those Mickey Mouse fever patches. That's also really helped us a lot. And then um, what else did we do? We broke the fevers with both the um, fever reducers by Tylenol and the ibuprofen. Um, a lot of people were telling me that if you were to just alternate, you know, medicines with those two, it would break the fevers. Um, you know, in the beginning, it's going to be really rough. As the days go on, you'll see them progressing. And like, it's just really the first couple days, I'd say first two days that are going to be really hard on you. But also do get the oxygen monitor. That's something that also helped us get the fast reading thermometers because those really do help and then you know your kids are going to be really fussy so that would be really quick to just check their temperatures only one of my daughters um, was having a loss of appetite my baby she was eating so much so i i'd give her like a uh, chicken noodle some stuff that we could make or prepare really quick it was mostly all soups throughout the whole time. breakfast lunch and dinner something warm and then um, following with like the popsicles and you know whatnot, but those really did help us through the fevers um, We live in LA. So hi, Danny <laughs> She's in the background. We live in LA So we have the air conditioner and you know, thank God because we you know we still live in Seattle We didn't have any air conditioners in the summertime. It would have been crazy but that's also something that helped us was um, hi was keeping the air conditioner running. I also did constantly give them water because you have to stay hydrated. You gotta treat this whole COVID thing like a cold or, you know, cold and a flu. So that's what we did. We took those medicines. We, you know, ate all the things we would eat during a cold, like soups, and then drink like cold beverages with ice just to kind of keep our temperatures down. But, um, you know, throughout this whole experience, it was just really tough and I hope these tips help in case you and your family do end up catching COVID but yeah that was our experience and it's something that I never want to you know ever come across again crossing my fingers you know I'm praying but yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on my next video bye